Hello my artsy friends, my name is Julia and today is part 2 of the Art by Marlene Sophisticated Disc Journal. You will find links to everything at Sorry Stamping Studio in the description box below. The last page, the last time, was the fabulous seahorse and today we start with the other side of that page. On this side I will use the lobster as a focal point. I stamp my lobster in archival black ink on watercolor paper and I will use Dilution's acrylic paint to paint her in. This time I used cherry pie, tangerine dream and shimmer paint in pure sunshine. I use my darkest cherry pie to fill in the edges and then I move quickly to drag that color out with water. Sometimes I fill in the whole area with my lightest color and then add shading after. It all depends on the area. And since my backgrounds are in cool colors, I tend to use warm colors for my fishes to make them pop. For the claws on this lobster, I added shimmer paint in bubblegum pink and the neon color tropical sangria. And while I have that paint out on my surface, I color in lots of this small fish to use both now and later. And they are all colored in the same colors as before, but different combinations. But this page needs some seaweeds and I intend to heat emboss them with WOW super fine clear embossing powder. So I stamp in onyx black ink and cover them in the clear embossing powder and melt the powder until shiny and those raised edges help me color them in easier and I stamp many seaweeds to have options later. I color my first batch of seaweeds with Dilution's paint in polished jade and the neon color Sour Apple Teeny. On the seaweeds I use the darker shade to fill in the edges and then I fill in the whole thing in that Sour Apple Teeny. Now Let's work on the background a bit. I put the page in my stamping platform and pull out the bold sentiment, save the sea. I use my anti-static bag before I pick the sentiment up with the door and stamp it in VersaFine onyx black ink. I cover the sentiment in black glitter embossing powder and heat set until shiny and glittery. Next, I glue down a few seaweeds in different heights and put foam tape behind my lobster. Finally, I glue down my lobster and a few of the fishes we colored earlier. And when everything is glued down, I use my white gel pen to add a few highlights. The next page is bigger and I intend to use stamps from two stamp sets, the big octopus and the submarine. I start by stamping the octopus in archival black ink. And then I stamp another time on masking paper and start the process of fussy cutting the octopus mask. When I have the mask ready, I put the mask carefully over 
the stamp octopus and position the submarine stamp over my mouth. Then I stamp the submarine over the octopus and the mask. And when I pull off the mask, I have a submarine that is hijacked by an octopus. Then I put the mask back on and stamp the looking tube so it peeks up behind the octopus head. I color my submarine in yellow. I blame it on the village people. I use the neon yellow lemon drop and the shimmer paint pure sunshine. I color the edges of each submarine piece with pure sunshine and fill in the whole area with lemon drop. This whole image is so much fun, especially when you see the panicked octopus in the submarine window. I use polished jade and sour apple teeny to color the crazy octopus inside the submarine. Then I start coloring the big octopus, first with the neon pink tropical sangria and I blend it out with pure sunshine and lemon drop. For the arms I color the side with the suction thingies in tropical sangria pink and blend that out with lemon drop on the other side. I color the suction thingies, that's now a technical term, in neon green sour apple teeny. Now, let's work on the background for this image and I bring out the seaweed stencil again and a mister with water and the shimmering perfect pearls mixed in. I spray the shimmering water through the stencil and get these shimmering seaweeds in the background. Then I bring out black marble paint and stencil in black silhouettes of seaweeds all over my background. My last layer on this background will be with Nouveau Shimmer Paste. I push the paste through my stencil and the different kinds of seaweeds give my background more interest and depth. Then I use a distress crayon in black soot to go around the edges and frame my background. I put foam tape behind my octopus and submarine and glue it down before I fill up the page with those small fishes from before. There are many, many small fishes. My last detail on this page is to take glossy accent and fill in the window of the submarine and the eyes of the octopus. For my next page I'm using the scuba diving puffy fish and the lady scuba diving. I stamp them both in archival black ink. For the bathing suit on the scuba diving lady, I bring out my Gansai Tambi starry palette of watercolors and color every other stripe with gold. I use a darker gold at the ends of each stripe and lighter in the middle to make her seem more rounded. For the other stripes, I use cherry pie 
putting it on at the end of each stripe and dragging it out towards the middle with water. For her air tank, I used Illusion's grey ink on a brush to colour it in. My husband got me this Prima watercolour set called Complexions for my birthday and I use it to colour in the skin of the, of the lady starting with the lightest and adding the darker where I want my shadows. For her hair I used Dilutions ink in melted chocolate and later off camera I will give her hair shadows with a darker brown marker. I color in the plant in her pocket and her flippers in sour apple teeny and polished jade. Next, I'm coloring the air tube on the blowfish in dilution spray inks. I put the ink on my glass mat and use slate gray as my lightest gray and make shadows with balmy night. I color the flippers in lemon drop and mango punch dilutions paint. I use the same colors for the mouthpiece and the snorkel. Then I move on to the fish. I use the neon pink tropical sangria to outline him and drag the color out with water. And here they are, my two focal points all colored in. Next, I'm using archival black ink on a sponge to darken the edges and frame my divers. So, let's work on this background. I pull every seaweed silhouette stamp from the different stamp sets and I intend to heat emboss the seaweeds in many different colors. I use my anti-static bag over the background and then I stamp my first seaweed in Versamark embossing ink and cover it with Wow's Color Blend Verdigris embossing powder and melt it. On the next seaweed I use Wow's Earth Tone Olive embossing powder. I stamp many seaweeds alternating the colors and letting the seaweed climb down on the sides because these seaweeds are coming down from above. When I turn the page right the right way, it's just easier to stamp this way. I stamp the seaweeds overlapping, aiming to give this background some cool texture and depth. And when I'm done with the seaweed coming down, I bring in three more colors of WOW embossing powder called Primary Lagoon, Hot Gossip and Gold. I do the same procedure as before. I stamp the different seaweeds and alternate between colors to give this page some whimsical vibes. And since I'm using both regular embossing powder, embossing glitter and gold, all the seaweeds have their own texture and together they bring some interest to my background. Next, I want some air bubbles coming from our divers, so I stamp the bubbles in Versamark embossing ink and cover with Wow's Vanilla White embossing powder and melt it. Finally, I put foam tape behind my divers and glue them down, swimming for the surface. I use my white gel pen to add some highlights and I use a gold gel pen to add highlights to her hair. The last touch is to use glossy accents on the swimming goggles on the divers. And while I have those gel pens out I go back to the seahorse we did last week and add little gold and white dots around its head to make the seahorse even more magical. And why stop there? I go back to another page and add glossy accents to the eyes of every sea creature. 
Now, let's make the last page for today. I bring out the mermaid set and stamp the mermaids, some seashells and sea creatures in archival black ink. So, let's color the mermaids, yay! The first mermaid's hair is colored with neon orange, mango punch and shimmer paint in pure sunshine. I outline the strands of hair with the orange and then I fill in the hair with pure sunshine. For the scales on her tail I use shimmer paint in bubblegum pink. The second mermaid is the other way around. I use shimmer paint in bubblegum pink to outline her hair and fill in the hair with neon pink in tropical sangria. And for her tail I used mango punch and pure sunshine. This last page is sticking out being wider than the other pages and I wanted to fill that space that is seen with the journal closed. The sophisticated sentiment fits perfectly, so I stamp it in Versamark embossing ink and cover it with that embossing glitter, hot gossip from WOW and melt it. Then I bring out that Prima watercolor palette again and color in the skin on my mermaids, lightest first and the darker tones for shadows. Next, I'm using my white gel pen to outline the right side of each pink letter. Then I bring out another stencil from the collection with anemones. I place it over my background, having masked off the pink letters, and spray that shimmering water from before through the stencil. I pick up color with a paper towel and are left with a shimmering impression of the stencil. Then I push that nouveau shimmer paste through part of the stencil to make more texture and more shimmer. Next, I have all those seaweeds from before and I start gluing them down, building them tall around the sentiment so we can see them peeking out from behind the other pages. I glue down the seashells and then I glue down seaweeds on the other side too. Then I cut off anything hanging over the edge with scissors. I have foam tape behind my mermaid and glue them down on my page. Then I glue down those amazing sea creatures that look like little tassels around my mermaids. My final detail is using a distress crayon in black soot to darken the edges and framing my scene. And now these four Art by Marlene, so fish decayed pages are finished. Thank you so much for joining me for these pages. I'm so happy you are here and hope you will pop by soon again. Until the next time, see you soon.